Hey all, welcome back. Maniac Guy here. So today, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. This is the Combat Troodon. A little windy out today, sorry about that. So this is an automatic, this is an out the front knife. Some people would call it a switch blade, I guess. So, uh, recently I've done a video on all my Microtechs. I've got a few of them. But we're going to put this one through its paces. And uh, I'll put the link to that other video in the description below this one. But uh, today is all about the testing. We're going to put this thing through a little bit of test. Uh, over here, we've got some meat set up inside of denim to kind of see how it'll do in a self-defense type situation. we got some slash and stab test. We've got a sweet potato. We're going to see if this will stab through some buffalo hide loafers from L.L. Bean and see what it'll do. I've kind of warned them to where they're not good anymore. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's see what she'll do, and let's see if the Combat Troodon lives up to its price tag of close to $700, by the way. These videos are not sponsored. I'm not funded. Sure wish I was. But, uh, so we appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. So if you like what you see, stay tuned, comment, let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, I spent $700 on a knife and test it, so you don't have to. All right, so the first thing we're going to try this on is something that you hope you never have to use it for, but I think for obvious reasons, I've got a pork loin here inside of some denim. This is a cut off pants uh, denim leg. So pretty dense, it's got plastic like on the top of the pork loin just to keep things kind of a little bit less messy. So we're gonna see how she does real quick here. Real quick, I can tell you, that sliced all the way through the jeans and through that loin, and the stab went through to the tree. We'll pull this off. It's nailed in there. We'll pull this off and show you guys what that looks like. All right, let's pull it out and give you guys a little bit of a closer look. So, let's see here. Literally, I cut this pork loin. That was my stab when it went through. Very fine stab, went all the way through though. For a big blade like that, just went clean through. But the slash, would you guys look at that slash? Like, if that were, say, a ne'er-do-wells leg or arm, they wouldn't be interested in what they were doing just a few minutes before. Let's just say it that way. So, I would say, combat throw it on, on the combat stab test and slash test, Yes, please. That's a great tool for that. All right, guys. Now a slash and a stab on these milk jugs. Let's just see real quick what they do. Come on in. Well, that was pretty quick. I don't know... You got a little slash in there. It's hard to slash through that stuff. I mean, obviously it stabs. Zero effort in this stuff. Really nice precise stabs. This one's a little thicker. So yeah, slash not bad. Obviously on the meat it did great. It did puncture here, which lots of knives, they don't like to slash with that little reverse slash on that. But there we go. Okay, so this part here is going to be the closest to a torture test as we're going to do today. And that's to take this sweet potato, put it in this top grain buffalo hide shoe. And considering that they used to use this kind of stuff as armor to stop arrows, I'm going to put some gloves on just to protect myself. We're going to come down as hard as we can, see if we can't puncture that and get into this. So it's going to test, I think, the action of this knife to see if it knocks it like offline or so they say. And it's also going to test the sharpness of the steel, and we're going to see if we tweak or roll anything. A little nervous with the knife that cost me this much money. That was as hard as this was for me to track down. But hey, let's do it. Okay, guys, here we go. Ah, <coughs> oh, holy frick. Well, I guess it went right through that and my table. Uh-oh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that was not anticipated. Wow, she's in there good though. 
Um, sweet potato wasn't safe. Shears didn't even come close to stopping it. Now, here's the test. Actually, let's wipe her off real quick. It's the one thing with these, you don't want to get crap up inside. She's golden. And everything is right and true. All right, guys, we got a couple of things here to try out with cutting, but uh, we'll say one of the things, I got this bag I'm not using anymore, but stuffle bag material. So let's say your zipper's stuck and you're in a kind of a situation where you gotta cut your bag open to get your stuff out. I'm just curious what it'll do, how it'll cut. Like butter, man, like butter, no problem. So let's just keep on moving, shall we? Uh, I got some nylon cord here, and this is after all the other tests. Clearly, I haven't sharpened this, so just to see how she'll do. No problem. Let's double it up and just see if it'll go through two strands of it. No problem. 550 paracord, or no, this isn't, sorry. This is cotton rope. No problem. This is pretty high tensile rope, too. I use this to secure my canoe in the front and back. On my Jeep. No issues at all. The old sweet potato. Let's see how she'll do for cooking. If I had this out camping or whatever. Nice clean slices. No problem. Right down to the middle. No issues. All right. All the makings of some stone soup here. All right, and last but not least, I've got this uh, tomato. Really, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but she's, uh, she's, she's gone. She's pretty far gone. Super thin skin. So the question is, we'll just do this straight on the table. <laughs> I already put a hole in it. And uh, the question is, am I just going to be able to go straight onto this and just slice straight through it? I don't know. Look at that. Look how sharp that is. And this thing, I tell you right now, is like rotten 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 like bad now normally with a kitchen knife i'd do that but yeah she'll she's sharp enough to actually slice that rotten tomato so there we have it with the combat troodon so by the way while i'm at it it's a common misconception that uh, you can shoot this into, your, into yourself and that it'll just shoot right through something because I'm holding this on here. It's gonna hurt, but it didn't shoot right through it. Now it's kind of floating. So now I just lock it back into place. And again, I like to clean the blade because I don't want to get anything in the tracks. So the whole, eh, you'll shoot it in your pocket, you know, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. That's not going to happen. So there we have it. So the Microtech, oh, hold up. One last thing here. Uh, so this is a glass breaker. I didn't bring any glass with me, but you can see it's got the tri-wing kind of thing going on there. And this glass breaker, I've seen it demoed on several videos. And now i got some sweet potato on it, but it... Uh, does a good job it does a good job uh breaking glass so it lives up to its, its standard so anyway back to it uh so this is the microtech combat troodon i give it an a plus rating uh i think you spend seven eight hundred dollars on a firearm maybe some people might think seven eight hundred dollars on a knife is an awful lot but if you want something that's fast to deploy is truly one-handed operation this turns into kind of a beast of a knife you know almost like I don't know. I, I don't want to give any comparisons because people will call me on it. But it's a it's a good, stout, thick bladed, razor sharp, super strong knife. Uh, gets my A plus rating. If you've been thinking about buying one but you're just not sure, I say go for it. I mean, I put this thing through the paces as much as I could, and I'm loving it. But anyways, uh, so as a reminder, 
find something to do, get outside, do some hiking, do some camping, get some knives, get in some firearms, whatever you do. Uh, but thank you, whatever it is you do, for joining us today and spending that time with us. So uh, my son, the cameraman, and I are always really happy to have you along. That was our review and putting the Combat Troodon through its paces, a little expensive, but definitely lives up to the function that they claim. So thanks again for joining us, and until next time, take care and have a good one. Bye now.